Welcome back, yours truly DJ Sound Expression, and today is all about less is more. Yes, for production, less is more. Now, when I listen to some tracks and I hear they're having a million things, the first thing I do with it, turn it off. Too confusing for my likings. Sometimes the arrangements is what need to be worked on in these situations. You have a bass line, a synth that is playing from the beginning straight down to the end of the song. Same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I mean at least chop it up a little bit, take out slap certain parts, drop out, fade out at certain points and come back in at other points. Yeah? You don't need everything playing at one time. I know you want the big, especially big choruses and stuff like that. Yeah, it's very simple to achieve. That's why you get people like musicians to work with and stuff like that. It's very simple. So you can get those big choruses and things with very minimal amount of instruments. See, the less of less is more is a model I always work by. From since I was I would say Adam was a lad. I was working with it. Because I found that with music, everybody keep on saying you don't need to do too much for people to enjoy the song. Which is true, when you have a person that is just singing a song simple and voice is really good, you enjoy the song. When they start going on these tantrums where they won't be up in all these notes and dropping back down, going across there, up until now they may finish it, the song two days later, hit the note two days later. i sorry, that is really turn you off and kill everybody vibe. Because they know how to do all these fancy things, but it's not that every situation married it. It's like DJs that want to play at every party and play like they're on the Red Bull Tree style. There's a time for Red Bull Tree style, which is a great competition. Competition is not playing for a party. That's two different things. Competition is competition. That's all the fancy scratching and things like that. But when you have a party, less is more. Sometimes you just got to put on the right song at the right time. That's it. You ain't even got songs at some parties you don't even have to mix. The right song at the right time. And that's what keeps noise for people. But in production, no. You got the vocalists who want to sing all over the place. Then you got the musicians that want to take the whole show from the vocalists because they think that they are leads also, so they want to overplay. All of that kind of stuff, no. Less is more. Slow, hold back yourself. Slow down, take it easy, calm down less is more and then when it comes to the uh arranging that is where it simplifies all of that work that you've done take out some of the bass at certain points some of the synths at certain points some of the keys at certain points add them back in at different points you know M makes the song flow a lot better so when it comes to your production i would always tell you take it easy on the instruments you don't need a million i want to make a great hit a lot of songs like I'll show you remind me that I can, I've that got in 10 tracks I think that got in a lot that is a really good and it's a really good song you know but back in the day a lot of you guys did a lot of less is more but what I like about this modern day is trap trap really blows it out the water with the less is more let me tell you something not too many instruments is being trapped and the vibe and the everything else is just work the sound not too much is going on in the sound not minimal as possible you just keep it as minimal as possible so that's what i'm saying less is more and those are the big hits and all these songs that become classics and legendary they're very simple Look at the mixing done on them also. It's not too much reverse because like for me, I'm a sound design engineer, so I could really start to add on effects on the sound. I mean, I could really tear up something, but I have to ask myself the question. First, is the artist going to appreciate what I'm doing here? Is it that necessary? And two, will the general public that listening to it want to hear that in my head, in their head, every two seconds? I could do this, I could do that. We all know we could do these things. We could add all these fancy effects, but you know what? There's a time and place for everything. And you don't need to do too much with your production. Even if you look at a movie, those sci-fi movies with a lot of song effects and stuff like that, sometimes the effects 
they're they're like so simple that like you'd be like, oh, I, I would not even have think of doing that there at that point, but that really worked because the people understand that they're getting ready for a next climax, which means they can need more a, um, activity with the music happening at that point. So it don't make sense having everything happening all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. We all know we can do these things, but we don't need to do them. So even within the mixing, you keep it simple with the effects. You keep it simple with the plugins. You know, less is more. Less would always be more. Because when you make it appealing to the ear, trust me, there's very few things you will have inside that song. Very, very few. Very few reverbs, very few delays. You know, it's just be so much simple stuff. You'd be like, hmm, this sounds great. And if you look at it from this perspective, back in the day, we used to have mixing consoles with sometimes four auxiliary sense for effects. Four. The first, the second two would be used as um, headphones, so it's headphone sense. And then when you're mixing, or you switch those headphone sense to an effect, and it's just about four effects, four reverbs. And you ain't doing nothing too muchy muchy. Simple, and those are how big hits were made. Less is more classics like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson didn't have the technology that we have in this modern day. He didn't have the Pro Tools and the other DAWs to work on. Tip. Two inch tip. Let me go from there. Let me talk about our tip. Yep. But he still produced great music that is legendary. Simplicity again from the recording to the mixing and then over to the mastering now simple again keeping it as simple as possible we got a ton of plugins within our DAWs tons I mean the stock plugins is a lot and then you go and get all these here because you hear certain people say oh use this plugin because of this this plugin works best for this this there do that the third the fourth here, blah, 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 blah. all that okay cool we get the picture take it from this um, perspective now look at it from this light mastering mastering is so simple you do not go with big movements it's very small movements less is more always remember less is more you're just adding that final shine onto the music that final polish that final presentation of the trap less is more you don't need to be doing uh well i hear that this person uses eq so i'm use this eq and they boost this bar and they do this and they do the 34 and then they move over to a compressor and then a limiter and then they EQ again and compress and limit again no listen to what you have in front of you and then make decisions and in making decisions you should always ask yourself the major question does this song merit this treatment that's the one question you should always ask yourself anytime you're doing anything to a song always ask yourself that question and suddenly you recognize if you think about it for a couple of seconds you'll be like nah this ain't really needed you know and then you'll just throw it away so in this situation as I saying it's all about less is more so for any form of production that you're doing just remember look at it from the perspective whereby you don't need a lot going on to make the sound that enjoyable to the general public we all know that People have a lot of skill set when it comes to mixing, when it comes to recording. We don't need to show off every single thing that we know within each song or each second of the song that we are working on. Don't need to do all of that. Sometimes just keeping it as simple as possible and creating a plan for that simplicity is one of the best ways of doing that. So there will be certain points that will be like highlighted, which will be like choruses in the song. You know, or you might need a break just to give the song a slight little different vibe or what have the kisses. But it's the simple things that makes the song sound great. So, as I was tell you, always remember, keep it as simple as possible. Your truly DJ song expression just standing here. Less is more are gone.